good morning besties it is currently monday morning i woke up today and i had to upload the video i'm currently working on my thumbnail i also worked out this morning i'm feeling quite productive here before work also drinking my protein shake and i've also been taking some magnesium for muscle recovery or i guess muscle health because this is for bone and muscle health so i'm gonna take this but you guys are using my water as something to pop you up so let's switch awkward i'm wearing a headband today but i don't really know how to feel about myself in a headband i feel like i look weird but <laughs> guys stop falling for me i know that next or tomorrow is valentine's day that's crazy tomorrow's valentine's day we are halfway through february Pfft. insane also today is monday the 13th I love a good 13th day. It started raining today and I love rain, which is so cool. It's been raining so much this morning and I hope it continues to rain because it never rains when I'm awake. So that would be wonderful. That would be a great Monday the 13th if it just decided to keep raining all day. Although I don't know what I'm gonna do about my run later because as you guys saw, I run on a dirt road. So I'm probably gonna have to change locations for today, but I don't know where I'm gonna go. So we're gonna have to figure that out after work. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you guys had a great Monday or make it a great Monday because as we always say that your day didn't start out that great, you can always turn it around. So make sure you do something a little extra special for yourself today, even if it's just like for five minutes. If you need to go sit in your car and take a deep breath, do it for you. The only thing glasses comes through for is the wind, but it still gets through. We're not gonna lie. All right, let's 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 head out to work. Okay, so I ended up getting another new personal best. I did one mile in under 12 minutes. And I'm so proud of myself. I ran. 3.1 miles, which is exactly, exactly the 5K. I just finished. I, I'm literally so ready for the 5K. Like, I'm so ready. I can do it. I did it in under 40 minutes. I surprised myself. I did one mile in, in under 12 minutes. And that's because I was, like, running it consistently. So I was pretty slow on mile one because... It rained this morning so there was some like muddy patches and i kind of slept in one so i had to like step off to the grass and like clean my shoes so that one took me a little longer but then mile two i was able to run it and walk it consistently and i did that under 12 minutes yes and then mile three i decided to just take it slow and i did it in like 15 minutes but that's because i was like mainly walking and i did a little bit of jogging just to finish and ended up doing the three miles in under 40 minutes which averages my miles to 13 minutes which is pretty good if you ask me for someone who is not a runner i've been i've really been proving myself wrong i'm so happy so proud of myself anyways i'm gonna go take a shower and eat some dinner to refuel my body. It's currently Wednesday and this video has somehow turned into a evenings in my life. This video is gonna be very low key, but that's okay, we like low key. Anyways, I didn't show you guys yesterday, but I got myself a new case. This is from Caseify, hashtag not sponsor, but Caseify, if you wanna sponsor, you could totally sponsor me. And it's very much giving Shigo vibes. I love it. I needed to get myself a new phone case because I'm low key gaslighting myself into thinking that I got a new phone and it really does feel like I got a new phone. I just need to get myself a new screen protector. But I mean, this one's still good, honestly, whatever. I am gonna get ready to go for my run. But before we do that, I am gonna do a couple of stretches to warm up my body, warm up my legs, so that way I can feel ready to go when I'm actually out there running and try to avoid any sort of injuries. One thing I like doing is playing a slow song 
so that way when I'm stretching I don't feel rushed because sometimes I feel like when the song is fast paced I feel motivated to like get going so I start off with a slow song and then on my run I do fast paced songs it's actually getting quite late it is at 5 30 the sun sets around at 6 30 even though i might not get in a full run i'm gonna go and try to get as much of a run as i possibly can so let's head out in 37 minutes it's three miles under 40 minutes i got a new personal best like i outdid myself i look busted crazy but i honestly don't even care right now because i'm so proud of myself i was struggling <coughs> so much today let you go down <sighs> besties i ran a mile in i mean not mile i ran three miles in 37 minutes which is a major major improvement last time which was what What's today wednesday monday i ran three miles in 40 minutes which was the fastest i've ever ran a 5k and today let me just say i literally like i swear to you i was struggling so much i started off pretty slow i started out running i ran about half a mile then I started to run against the wind and I've noticed that that's when I struggle the most is when I'm running against the wind because the air is colder plus today was really cold so I was struggling to breathe I was doing a lot of mouth breathing and that's what really slows me down and by the time I was gonna hit my one mile I was already starting to give up I'm like you know what low-key I think I might only do two miles today because I am struggling when I got to the two miles I was like no you know what I'm gonna push myself I'm gonna take away the expectation of trying to maintain the 40 minutes that I did on Monday and I'm just gonna run. If it takes me a long time, oh well. It's the fact that I'm doing it, not how fast I'm doing it. I was running, I was struggling, and I literally was yelling at myself, let's go, let's go. And I'm pretty sure if you saw me from an outsider's perspective, I probably looked crazy because I was like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> But I pushed myself. I did what I had to do to get myself through it. And in fact, I outdid myself. And I know that it's probably gonna seem like, oh, you're probably just really good at this. Like you're not struggling because you're seeing right now the end. You're seeing that I achieved my goal. I'm run hold on, we're running out of battery. <laughs> Anyways, back to my TED talk. Um, you only see the end goal. You only see that I finished it, that I got my three miles in 37 minutes but you did not see me out there struggling. You did not feel how my body felt out there struggling. You did not feel how much I struggled to breathe. But despite all of that, I pushed myself. That just goes to show that you can do so much more than you think that you can. If you literally just believe in yourself, if you hold yourself accountable, if you push yourself past your limits, you will realize that you can do so much more than you ever thought you could. And I know, I know, this was just three miles. It's just a 5K, but guess what? That's something I never saw myself doing. And look at me now. Look at me getting three miles in 37 minutes. I didn't even think I was gonna get like 45 minutes to be honest, because that's how much I was struggling. I thought I was gonna take like 50 minutes, but then I did 37. That was awesome. Anyways, gonna go take a shower now. I am going to be making some garlic bread because my mom made spaghetti, so that's a perfect post-workout meal. It's gonna hit good. I want something hefty. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like after you work out, you just want something that's gonna like really fill you up. I feel like the spaghetti's definitely gonna do that for me, so I'm excited about the spaghetti. And also, I really need to work on finishing you. Can I just say, that this season four of you is moving very slow for me it's a little like borderline boring because it's so slow but 
I'm holding on. I'm holding on because I'm having hope that this is gonna turn out better, but maybe that's just me. Like, I like the new concept, but it's just moving very, very slow for me. Like, I have not wanted to binge season four. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. Also, I really miss love. I liked love. As crazy as Homegirl was, I miss her. <laughs> I miss her. She was one of my favorite characters, and now she's no longer there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen again. No, no, no.